What's good, y'all? It's the boy YPD Walls here. And in this video, man, I'm going to explain to you how I feel like the rep at NBA 2K21 should be. Now, this is just a suggestion. They may, the devs may look at the video. They may not look at the video. But before I get into it, make sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Now, a lot of guys this year will show their park record or their record in general. And their park, say their park record may be 6,200 or 6,300, 7,400. You know, they may be a legend. You know, they may have 90. Four ninety five, whatever one percentage, but and that really doesn't tell the tell of how good they are because majority of those games and they play seven thousand games, five thousand of those games was against straight bums. Let's be honest, Run, come around subscribers, some people just enjoying being on the same court with their favorite YouTuber, or favorite blog vlogger, blogger, whatever you want to call it. So. I feel like they can use the same system. They can still have the elite system and the you know the pro all star. They can still have that. But I feel like it should be like a based on matchmaking. Anybody that's a, that's a pro one should load into the park with people who are pro ones. Anybody that's a pro two, load into the park with people with pro twos. Anybody pro three, load into the park with people with pro threes. And that's the same goes to the elites. If you're a superstar or elite, you should only be loading in the parks with superstars and elites. Now, if there's not that many elites, then they can load you in a park with superstars. But here's the thing. You won't get much rep for beating lower overalls. So if I'm an elite one, and, and you know, a lot of people will, will finesse the system. A lot of people will, will have people that's a rookie so they can get into a rookie parks. But here's, the, here's, here's how you keep it balanced. Say you're an elite one, and you play, you, know, you play against elites, and you... And you win ten games straight against the elites. I'm this. This is just a rough percentage. So you give. You can get five percent. Let's just say you get five percent for being elite and beating elite, beating winning ten games against elites. They may. They may go up five percent. So, if you are an elite and you may play rookies, say it may take you an extra twenty to thirty games to get that five percent. You see what I'm saying? It's like you got to keep it balanced a little bit. If that makes sense. And I'm just throwing a 5% out there, not saying that you can play 10 games and get 5%. I'm just saying that it should be, the ground should be much longer. You should have to play more games if you're high overall beating bums. That way, whenever the time comes for you to hit legend or hit whatever you're going to hit, and if your record's 7,000, if your record's 7,000 and, and 200 or 7,000 and 400, everybody knows that you didn't play comp. You didn't play competition the whole time, you know, because they should break it down to where it, it takes between three to four thousand games in the park to hit legend. If you're if you're playing the right rep, you know what I'm saying. If you're playing the right rep, it should take between three to four thousand games. So if this guy is it has eight thousand games, nine thousand games, and then his legend, you know he's not as goaded as what you thought he was. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people be getting stuff misconstrued as far as you know they get misconstrued as far as hey, oh man, he got a ninety-seven win percentage. He's played. He's played seven thousand or six thousand games. Only has two losses. That's goaded. When realistically, nobody's gonna realistically. If you're playing the, you're, if you're playing competition, if you're in league three, there's no way you should be able to load into any parks with anybody outside of an elite one. You know, you should be loading the parks with elites. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the higher your rep is, the more competition you must face. You know what I'm saying? And like once again, I will break it down. If you are elite. And you load into parts with bums. It's gonna you gonna you're you're gonna have to play three or four or five more times games to get that same rep that you would get when you you know when you would play somebody on your level. Now, I had this discussion, and I was just cause I was sitting back thinking like if they kept that balanced, of course we want the new parts, but if they kept that balanced, you know, then there wouldn't be a lot of people hitting elite. There wouldn't be a lot of people. Um, on the game, um, grinding as if they're good. That's going to really show a skill gap, you know? Because there, that's, believe it or not, there's people on the game that can just drop off anybody, whether they're good or not. But for the most part, a lot of these guys can't. A lot of these guys are not even good on this video game, you know? 
And I see that, and I'm, I'm not even grinding the game, you know? I don't even grind the game no more. I stopped grinding once I hit Elite One because it just wasn't compatible with what I was doing. So I figured that if the devs can somehow manage that out, manage or balance the, the rep out like that, then we actually see, you know what I'm saying, who's comp and who isn't comp, you know? Because it's, it's nothing to, to, get on the, to get on the game, go to the... It's nothing to get on the game, go to the park with 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 with, with, with your. Uh, Cause a lot of YouTubers do this. A lot of YouTubers that team up, go to the park, and they beat the whole park. We're on a hundred game win streak. We on we're on eighty game win streak. Let's be realistic. If you're loaded into a park with all high overall people, you're not going on no eighty game win streak. You're not going on no hundred game win streak. It's just not happening. Who, who helps you with those 180 game win streaks is are the scrubs, all those pros, all those weak superstars, all those weak all stars. Because not only will they play you, but they're going to keep coming around playing you, playing you, playing you, playing you, playing you. If your rep is so high that you can only face competition, you know, you're not going to go on no high win streaks. Occasionally people may, but not everybody's going to go on those high win streaks. So. That's my idea of rep. And also, the lives and stuff like that, I feel like it should be based on um, it should be based on teammate grade, once again. And it should not be preset. It should be based on teammate grade and what you do in, in what you do in the game. Like if you throw in like I said, if you throw in um if you got this build and you throw in Oops, at a at a good percentage and all that. I feel like all that should matter. If you're shooting at a good percentage, all that should matter. You know, you shouldn't be able to get maximum rep just because some you threw you threw. You shouldn't be able to get maximum rep just because you threw twenty alley oops and and you and and people and people caught ten of them. You know what I'm saying? They should deduct points for that. They should deduct. Oh, you threw twenty. You know, but you only caught 10. You shouldn't get maximum rep for that just because somebody caught 10 alley-oops. No, it should be based on percentages how shooting is. You know, you shoot 10 threes. If you shoot 10 threes and you and you miss five, that's 50%. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get the maximum rep. You're not going to get the maximum rep for that. So I don't feel like you should get the maximum rep for anything else as far as dunking goes. You know, if you're going up there to try to, to try to posterize somebody and you attempt seven dunks, but you only realistically get two contact dunks, you shouldn't be, you know, you shouldn't be rewarded for that. You know what I'm saying? So that's my idea of how the rep system should be. I feel like it should be strictly matchmaking, you know, based off of your rep. And like I said, the higher rep you are and and the, the the higher your rep is and the people that are not high reps and the more you beat them, it should take you much longer. Once again, like if you're an elite, you know what I'm saying, you beat ten elites in a row, however the system may be, like I said, they may give you they may give you four percent, you know what I'm saying? Or you may get point what, point two, point three a game, but if you if you if you're an elite and you face above, you may have to play twenty extra games just to get that point, and you just just to get that three to four percent. You know, everybody comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you understand what I'm saying. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. Share the video, and I'm out. You know. <laughs>